This is a rented U-Haul van. And if you're gonna try this as your first time doing this van camping thing, here's five things you should bring. So I came out for this uh, van camping endeavor. It's the first time I've done it. I have rented a U-Haul van instead of a car before, but I've never done like the camping in the back thing. And there was just some things that I forgot that would have been really convenient to have as I'm out here doing this. And the first one is a power cord. I'm fortunate that I'm staying at a campsite that actually has a power connection just outside the door on the other side of me right here. However, I did not bring a power cord. Had I brought a power cord, I would have been able to plug everything in right in the back of the van here. Now, thankfully, a friend of mine was staying in the campsite here and I was able to get a cord from him so that I can have everything uh, in here with me to charge. Had I not been able to do that, I would have had to have had everything up in the cab charging uh, when the van was on. And that's just inconvenient. So if you're trying this, make sure you've got a power cord. The second thing that I wish I would have brought, a heater. At least that's in this case. Last night, right as I'm recording this, it was 35 degrees. And I had to turn the van on for much of the night. I think after about 2 a.m. I turned it on. Now, obviously, that wastes gas. Uh, not a substantial amount. And so if you don't bring a heater, it probably wouldn't be beneficial to buy one because it would be cheaper to run the van unless you're doing it for a long time. But a heater would be very convenient if you're going somewhere like this when it's cold. If you're going somewhere where it's going to be warm, you need a fan of some kind to sit in here and just circulate the air around because I don't believe the windows on this van open, at least not here in the back. The front ones do, but the cargo windows don't open. So you'll need something to circulate the air around to keep you cool. That being said, this is probably not the thing to do if you're trying to go to like the Everglades because you're just not gonna be able to get cool enough and it's gonna be hot in the van all the time. So this may not work for that. But if you're going somewhere that's cooler, and you can have a heater. This is not a very big space. It wouldn't take much to heat it. You could have just a very simple like floor heater like you probably already have at your house and you could either ship it to where you're going to pick up the van or you can just pack it in your suitcase. So that's the second item, a heater or a fan, depending on where you're going. Item number three, again, basic stuff here. You need some kind of a light uh, you can use your cell phone light, but that's not the best. Uh, that's what I've ended up using, but it would be much easier if I just had like a light that I could hang from the roof of the van. They could just sit in here and I could read books or do whatever in the evening and not have to keep the dome lights on or not have to keep my phone light on. So item number three, yep, it's a light. For item number four, bring a chair. Now this could help for sitting outside the van, inside the van, anywhere. But right now, I'm recording this sitting on my sleeping pad. It's not extremely uncomfortable, but it's definitely not as uncomfortable as what a camp chair would be. Uh, maybe not like a full-size camp chair, but like a smaller one, like you can get from REI that's like half the height. That would be really good. And then you could just sit in here, sit in the van, chill out, do whatever you're doing with your light, of course and your power strip and just hang out. And that way you, you're not sitting like this, leaning up against this wood beam or just sitting cross-legged on your sleeping pad or whatever you've got. So item number four, bring a chair. And finally, item number five, you need to bring something to cover up these windows. This right here, I took a picture. This is what the windows look like. There's nothing covering those. It's completely bright, and um, I don't need an alarm clock. I set an alarm clock just in case, so I don't have to look at my phone to see what time it is. But right now, the sun's coming up at about 7:20, and I'm awake because it's perfectly light in here, and you can't, and I can't really sleep when it's light like that unless I'm super tired. So. Yeah, I'm awake at 7.20, which is fine because I can get out and do things. But if you don't want that to be the case, if you want to, you know, it to actually be dark. And to be fair, if you want some privacy, bring something to cover the windows. Now, that could be like an extra towel 
Uh, it could just be like uh, paper or anything, but bring something that you can use to cover the windows. And you can look at like the vans to see what size the windows are, but you definitely need something to cover up the windows. And so that's item number five, an item of some sort to cover up your windows. And with that, that is it. Five items you need if you're doing this as a beginner. A power cord, a heater or a fan, a light, a chair, and something to cover up these windows. Really appreciate you watching. I'll see you again on the next video.